Well, I have to say, I'm not used to this. This season is well and truly a relegation battle. We have eight points from two wins and two losses from 11 games. We're second bottom of the table and things are not looking up. Hey guys, and welcome back to the eighth episode of the FM23 West Brom save with me. Raxel with them, where today we are versing Crystal Palace in a hopefully winnable game, and then Tottenham in a very difficult game in the Premier League, as every single point counts at this moment in time, but it is not the only thing that's happened. Of course, we're going to go over all of the results since last time we saw each other. We are also going over the transfers we made to end the deadline day, so if you are excited about that and you are enjoying the save so far, please make sure that you smash the like button on today's video, as well as subscribing to the Racks with your YouTube channel so you don't miss more Football Manager content just like this. And can we please smash whatever like target you can give me today? It is a mid, well, not quite mid-season, but you know, start mid season thingamajiggy not a lot going on so just pump the like target to boys and girls give me what you can and let's jump into what has happened since last time we saw each other we're going to start with the transfers and it's not been that exciting we've brought in three players the first one being ryan ledson he's getting paid a very very small amount of money and he's a good bit of cover for us same with galbraith who in hindsight i probably didn't need to pick up but again very cheap comes in on free and then van hinkle again very cheap comes in on free good cover for us so i think those three were very good signings and then we've managed to loan out a couple of people uh sell uh gary cahill i know you definitely don't know about that um but i think you saw the rest but aside from that it's just you know loan so nothing too flashy there we are going to be getting rid of vidra who's going for 3.2 million pounds very happy with that fee so we now have a bit of money to play with in january but we are going to have to make a sale or two to really do some damage and improve this team which haven't been doing brilliantly but realistically our team is not insane i just would have liked to have seen a couple more wins especially in this carabao cup fourth round tie which ended up going to penalties and was uh yeah it doesn't even say it doesn't even say what the scoreline was but it was something like 15 to 16 or something like that dianga Dean Garner, sorry, uh, missed the final penalty. Akoi could not save any penalties, which infuriated me very much so. And we managed to get kicked out. But then we have had some decent results since last time we saw each other. Um, the 2-0 win to Everton straight after that last game was beautiful. Uh, then we lost to Brighton, beat Bristol, lost to Norwich, lost to Aston Villa, beat Arsenal, which was a massive shock. We went with the more defensive approach for this game. And since then, I've still been mixing around with the 4-3-3, defensive and attacking. And we've had some okay results, Brentford and West Ham, but nothing too solid. So I am going to give it a whirl with this formation in today's video. And I think that this is a game that will really tell me if it is worth trying or not, because it is against a side that I do think that we wouldn't beat if we were using our normal formation. 16th place Crystal Palace even though they're around the same area as us I think they've just got a bit more quality uh, so it'll be a good one to see how it goes with but it, I think it makes so much sense for the players that we do have we have three really good center backs um, uh, a great reserve center back in Phillips wing backs that can play wing back two central midfielders that are locked down starters we don't really have that many wingers actually like Grant is more of a striker uh, Campwell's more of a cam and then Dow, Dian, Dian Garner is the only one that I can say is really a lockdown winger. But even he can do a job in cam if I really need him to. Two strikers, Res, Rasmus and Dyke. And Dyke's been playing really well, so it's hard to justify not keeping them both in the team. So, I think this makes sense for what we've got going on right now. We're going to play early cross, crosses into the mixer. And we're going to try and distribute to those wingbacks. Counter is basically just the gag and press with a couple of tweaks to hopefully work for this formation. We're going to jump into this game. Hope we see a positive result. It would only be our third win of the season if we managed to win it. And I believe our first win of the season away from home. Actually, we've only gotten one point away from home all season, if memory serves me correctly. So not a great start this year away from home. But a decent start to this game because we're on the ball. Not that that means we're going to score... But we have. And I think he's on. 
I think he's on. Zaha is chilling right next to Dyke there. Bertrand, either way, has put in a uh, he's put in a, a, an assist. We've scored within the first five minutes of this game, and there is no shouts for offside there. He has literally run onto it into Zaha. There's no shout. Let's take a look at it just to finalise it. Oh my goodness. What? Okay, maybe you could justify saying Rasmus was offside because he could be interfering with play, but even then, no shout. Beautiful goal. 1 0 to start the game. And this formation, it's it's already it's already doing good things for me. Five shots to their zero. <sighs> I think we might find have just found our new tactic, boys and girls. Twenty minutes to go until half time. If we can hold on with this score line, I will be thrilled. Even if we can add to it, that would be even better, obviously. Five shots to their two. We're not creating many more opportunities, to be fair. They probably have sorted out and worked out what we're doing. And they do have their first highlight. They have some decent players in there. Are they going to create a serious attack for us, for them, sorry, against us? Mitchell picks it up as we clear it long. Doesn't find any of our players, so of course they pick it up. Guehi into Mitchell. Mitchell playing it back to Guehi again. Anderson. Oh, yeah, there are some very good players in this team. They can they can hit us at a, at a flip of a coin on a counterattack on absolutely anything. Zaha as well still in the team. Very, very decent players. Definitely a higher quality than us. Even new signings like Lucas Mora look like decent additions. But I think it's us on the attack again, actually. Bertrand, cutting inside, gets taken down in the mixer. If that's a penalty, that is harsh. But I will not complain. It's going to VAR. Please tell me that's a penalty. Please tell me. Not a penalty. It didn't look like a penalty, to be fair. It did not look like one, but... A tuna with advantage at half time would have been beautiful, but I'm absolutely thrilled with a 1 0 advantage. I'm going to tell them, of course, I'm happy with the performance, but now the highlight is coming straight away. I'm a little nervous about it as Mitchell runs down this left hand side, tries to get past the defender, but ends up passing it to Zaha. Are we going to pick it back up? We are pressing like we're trying to, but they're passing it around us very comfortably at this moment in time. I'm sure they're. Manager had some choice words for them after going 1-0 down against one of the worst teams in the league right now. This one, I think, was a tighter offside. I hope it was, but I have no idea. Is it offside? It is an offside. It's 1-0, and that team talk at halftime. Maybe I shouldn't have been so nice to them. Maybe their manager could have been a little bit you know, more nice, and then maybe we wouldn't have conceded. They probably weren't too chuffed with the performance. And there's a great finish by Eduard. An unfortunate thing to happen right at the start of the second half. But I still back us to get a decent result here. The, the performance so far has been very good. Going to demand more to try and motivate them to keep going. And I'm going to bring off Rasmus to bring uh, Grant on. Switcheroo. And we're going to bring Van Hinkle on for OK. Just because he's got a yellow card. And with that box-to-box -box and fielder roll... With only two central midfielders, out and out central midfielders, they have to do a big job, so I'm worried that he might pick up another card if we're not careful in this one. It is us on the ball for this highlight, though. Although we've got a long way to go to make it actually a highlight. No, they've got a red card. It's not a highlight. Okay, we go positive now. We keep the formation how it is, but we definitely try and score because this is a chance and a half. It is Van Hinkle who intercepts it, but they win it straight back. And is this going to be a highlight? It's not really a highlight at all. It's gone just wide of the post. And uh, Howard Bellis not playing well. So actually Phillips can come on for him. And Dyke's not exactly fully match fit up there. But I do still back him. Even though he is looking tired. He is one of our better players. Campwell's going to come off though for Dow. And we're going to see how we go for the last 15 minutes of this game. Still got one substitute in the back pocket. But I think this team will be able to put some serious pressure on. Although the shots aren't really coming our way. Let's demand more again and make that final substitute. It's going to be Zortia to come on for Furlong, who apparently is much more suited to play that right wing back position. We've got a couple minutes of additional time. Are we going to see a highlight? I'm even going to go attacking and bring, bring Dow onto Shadow Striker, even though it's not really what he's suited for. Just try and create another opportunity of scoring. I will take a draw. But we could have won it. That was definitely a chance to get three points. But you got to take that. As a new a new um, formation coming in clutch there, getting us a draw. We will take that based off how the game is, well, the season has gone for us so far. But we do need to get some wins on the board. <sighs> draw leaves West Brom chasing their first win in five 
And I have to say, boys and girls, I can't see us getting it up against Tottenham in our next game. But at least we're up one spot. We went to 18th place. Could very swiftly be taken away from us as I simulate forward. And uh, this this game week goes into the books. But we, we won't focus on that right now. We'll focus on our next game, which I, I'm definitely keen to use the same... Um, same formation for it it seems to be doing a decent job of keeping our opportunities up and their opportunities not too high it will be different against a bit a better side like tottenham but i'm going to back us as we have versus tottenham once in this series and we came away with the win so i mean could happen again today well um that that was that was a short-lived celebration we are now with the bottom of the premier league and we would need to win a game by a significant goal margin to get out of the relegation zone in today's video. And I can't see that happening considering the fact that, as I've said, we're versing Tottenham. So, this is the team that we're going with. The only change is Zortia, Zortia sorry, has come in instead of Furlong. I do really back Furlong, but I can't deny that Zortia clearly has the better ability in this more attacking of a right back position. So, we're jumping into the game. We're going to come away with the win. We've got a positive manif manifest it, boys and girls. It, it worked with the playoff final. I don't know if it will also work against Tottenham, but it can't hurt. And we're at home. We have won games at home before. Let's get another win here. Because right now, not only are we on the chopping block for the for the league, oh, I'm probably on the chopping block as a manager because this is not going well at this point in time. But the January chance window, fast approaching. We have a new... Formation that seems to be doing a job and we have the first opportunity of the game. It's gone into the back of the net again We're being Teased by the offside flag this one. I think could be off. It's not get in Rasmus scores within the first two and a half minutes to make it 1-0 against Tottenham Hotspur Okay with a great assist and he does just stay onside What a finish by him top corner and that is only his third goal in the Premier League I want to say not many goals for this man, but still proving to be a very good signing just off his value alone and based off the fact that we know how good he can be after seeing him in our uh, Manchester United save. So he's got he's got bags of ability. We just need to get it out. Basuma equalises. Oh, that is unfortunate. It's a great pass and it's an even better finish. It's such a good finish, actually. Um, Harry Kane just sort of drops it into him in, in a perfect way. And he just smashes it into the top corner. You would think LaFont would get a wee bit closer to it, but I'm not going to batter him too much. There's a tough, tough uh, shot to face, and it does mean that we are now on level terms. But we're coming, at, we're coming back with a lot of attacks here, hitting the woodwork here after a corner opportunity for us. Clearly, this formation is creating more attacks for us, which I don't understand because it's meant to be defensively solided, but it's proven to be attacking solided. Solidit? Solidit? No, I no, don't think that's a word, but you know what I'm trying to say here. We're doing well at this current point in time, and there's 10 minutes to go in this first half. Let's not concede, though. A 2-1 loss at this at this point in the game. 2-0 uh, two, two two nil loss? Lead? What's the opposite of lead? I don't know. Projected loss? Projected loss would not be fair at this point in time. Luckily, that hasn't gone in, but their chances keep coming, and now it does go in. Harry Kane... Oh, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. And LaFont, I have to say, mate, you should be doing better. You really should. Son's dipped it in. And Kane has basically put it straight into LaFont's path. And he's just not been able to tip it over. And the XG suggests they should not be winning this game. In fact, it suggests it should be 1-0 to us. But right now it's 2-1 to them. And I've got to tell them I'm not happy with the performance so far. Because we should be winning. We should be winning based off the stats. We've been performing so well with this uh, formation. But right now it's just not going our way on the scoreline. But it does make me feel good that I know that this formation is hopefully going to change our luck for the season. But we need to get a result in today's game as well. Grant is coming on instead of Dyke. That is the only substitute I'm going to make for now. After 30 minutes of, get of play left. Maybe I should be making more substitutions. Okay, LaFont picks it up, though, very calmly. It is into, I can't remember his name, but the the, the Italian centre-back that we have. Bertrand, our experienced man, dribbles past a couple of players and ends up keeping a hold of the ball, which you'd love to see. Okay, loses it. Basuma picks it up. He's already scored once on the in the game. Is he going to get an assist here? Is he going to do something? He plays it back to the left-back, I imagine. Oh, okay, brings it down, but I don't think that's in the mixer, mate. I think that's just outside. 
And even if it was, it did look like a fine tackle to me. But I'll let the VAR decide. Is it a penalty? It's not a penalty. Good. It probably is going to be a foul outside of the box, though. It is. And it is their man Bamba stepping over it. Is he going to find a player? He does. But it's headed away, and that's the important thing. And then he heads it straight out for a goal kick. And now a substitute is going to be made once again. A rider isn't doing insanely well, so Van Hinkle is going to come on. Do we switch there? Uh, oh, O'Shea not having the best day at the office, so Phillips can come on. And I'm also going to bring Bertrand off and Terzic on as my second lot of substitutes. Still two, no, one more to make if I want to, but 20 minutes left. We want to see some difference on the pitch instead of in the substitutions. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? I didn't say that well, though. Uh, 10 minutes to go. We have tired players out there, but I do kind of back this team. I don't think there's anyone that I want to bring on. Oh, no, there is totally people I can bring on. Dow is going to be that man. And it's going to be not Van Hinkle, because he's just come on. Okay to come off. Switcheroo. Now we have more attacking opportun opportunities with those two. More attacking-minded central midfielder. And, well, central midfielders in general. Come on, let's see an opportunity. It is a highlight. We'll take it. Are we going to win the ball back? We do. We lose it straight away, though. Perisic on the ball into Bentecure. We've got to win it back. We've got to create a highlight. A draw in this game is a brilliant result. And a loss is just kind of unfair. But I think it's going to be a loss. Human Son scores. And he confirms all three points going to Tottenham. Uh, I mean, it's the way it's going to go against decent teams like this. But you would appreciate it if we got a wee bit of luck in a game that the XG suggests we should have won not lost by two goals because again it's just not going our way it's going to keep hitting our goal difference our morale everything in that department and the board discuss a meeting oh no oh no this could be the end of the west brom save this could be the end mm. i haven't had one of these for some time so I don't, don't really know what the right things to say are, but we'll give it a whirl. We are disappointed with the result against Tottenham. Okay, that's a, the that's a result you pick, obviously. Yep, we would like to know what happened. Um, I think we just got unlucky, man. Uh, given the build-up of fixtures, I felt in the best to rest players. No, we just, I think we just got unlucky. I'm afraid they were just too strong on the day. The officials didn't cost us. They weren't the awful luck of with injuries. Nah, not really. They were just too good on the day. We concede that Tottenham put in a much better performance than expected. So understand how the match played out. We believe it's important to stay on good terms with you. So hopefully we can continue to work together to build a positive future at this football club. I'm not getting sacked yet, boys and girls. I'm not getting sacked. Oh, okay. That was that was good, but not good. But yeah. We are bottom of the table. That is the thing. That is the thing that we need to keep an eye on. But three points, four points will take us out straight away. So let's get some wins against Leeds, Middlesbrough, Leicester, Wolves. There's a good run there. Then just a wee hiccup with Man City. Back to winning ways. Then a couple hiccups here. Yeah, January is not going to be fun. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we're getting zero points here. We need to get results in this spell. I'll probably come back somewhere around this spell. Hopefully we have picked up those results. If you are enjoying this, please make sure you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Racks of YouTube channel so you don't miss more Football Manager content just like this. And I'll see you all later.